Hello everyone. This is just going to be an extra recording where I do something kind of cool. This was not originally planned, but we're going to do this between the staining process and the true oil finish. I was agonizing for the longest time over what to do uh, with putting a, lo a unique logo on the neck of this base just to sign it. And once we put that walnut finish on it. I kind of realized that aesthetically, I didn't want to put any colored logo like the full magenta and green poison jam logo on it. But one of the things I can do is etch an outline of the logo into the headstock using pyrography. It would fit the natural style that I've been going for with this base since I decided to do the walnut and true oil finish. And I'm not even gonna sand down after we're done with the pyrography. I'm going to seal it as is because I'd like to get uh, leave a bit of that texture in there. I have a soldering iron on hand for doing electronics repair and synth, re uh, synth repair and other things. In fact, we're going to use it soon when we put together the base to uh, set up the electronics and solder everything in. But one of the neat things you can do with a soldering iron is also pyrography. So that's what we're gonna do now, which is just etch the Poison Jam logo in to the headstock. So since we are going to be burning, there's going to be fumes and I will be wearing a mask through this process. It's going to be absurdly warm in doing so. Let's switch to our view of the headstock. This view is a bit more punched in than we've had before because I thought it would be cool to let you see the process as I do this. Um, just a heads up so you'll know before the next stage, when we do the true oil finish, I will be applying a sm small layer of true oil to the fretboard and also true oil finishing the neck, but we will not be staining the neck a walnut. So we're going to leave it a contrasting maple color, which I thought would be cool but we're going to burn the Poison Jam logo into the headstock. You may be wondering uh, why in heaven's name do I have a razor blade here, the tip of an X-Acto knife? And it's because I searched high and low throughout this apartment and the only thing that I could get with the correct angle so that I can make sure that I start the process of uh, burning the logo correctly. The only thing I could find with a correct angle uh, was that razor blade. We will be using this straight edge as soon as I etch in the initial starter angle. So first thing to decide is how do we want this, uh, the edge of the Poison Jam logo to sit? Do we want it to follow the curve here, kind of like a Stratocaster logo? Do we want it to put a dead, do we want it to put a dead center? I think we'll follow tradition and make the logo more or less follow this outer edge here. So that means for the initial burn in, we're going to want the lower edge of the logo to be somewhere around here. Uh, but we want to make sure also that we have enough space to go out from here. So how about there? All right, we've got our initial burn mark there. Let's line up our razor blade. I am way too shaky for this. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around. It's too awkward to do it this way. All right. So we have the initial burn in on the lower edge of the J. And excellent. 
I can use those as guides now to burn in the logo. So I've actually done a practice run of this already, and we're probably gonna lift the measurements from that practice run. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take the measurements Roughly, they don't have to be exact. So now we will place this here and burn, start the process of burning the logo in. I don't think we're gonna run into any problems with running out of space. All right. This will add that personal touch to the base, right? I just need to be damn sure that I don't put the logo upside down. All right, looking cool, looking cool. bit even it out although a lot of that process will come at the end all right now thankfully I can use this which is almost the proper width to um, line up the outer edges. We're gonna split this around. Here, there are just two more lines to the Poison Jam logo. There's one across here for the P, and another from the bottom for the J. So let's go for it. All right, 
We've got the P now. And last but not least, the J. Oh boy. All right, the stencil is done. Check that out. So we're just gonna fill that in mostly now. Uh, so, ooh. Yeah, okay, maybe I'm still gonna use the straight edge as a tool. I think that looks cool as heck. Uh, Song is the scrap, but maybe we'll take that down in a. Oh, I'm gonna unplug that right away. So, my shaky hands only managed to make one blemish, really. Uh, but it, hey, it's the Poison Jam logo. I think on the back opposite the poison jam logo so i'm gonna cut i'm gonna plug this back in i'm just gonna carve a one just to mark this being the first we're gonna freehand this Yes, my shaky self is going to free and this, so it's going to look more like an initial. So we have an opposite the Poison Jam logo. Wonder if I should put a B there to mark for base. But we're just gonna leave that mark there and try to hopefully sand these horrible scratches out. I apologize to whoever gets this. This is my first, again, this is my first do it yourself project. So, so that's everything for now, actually. Till next time, we're gonna do a true oil finish next.